one of the chants we repeat regularly is that I'm subject to aging, subject to illness, subject to death, subject to separation. I'm an heir to my actions. And that's followed by, may I be happy. And this seems to be a contradiction. How can you be happy with this aging, illness, and death? Well, that's the whole message of the Buddhist teaching, which is that it is possible to find happiness in the midst of this world, where there is aging, illness, and death. We can't pretend that these things don't happen. If our happiness depends on denying the reality of these things, then it's going to be shattered very easily. So we look at that fifth contemplation, the owner of my actions. The Buddha said there are four kinds of action. There are the actions that lead to happiness in the realm of rebirth, and the actions that lead to pain and misery in the realm of rebirth. Then there are mixed actions, actions that lead to both pain and misery, because the intention behind them is mixed. And then there are the actions that lead to the end of action, the unfold path that leads to a, a dimension that can be touched in the mind that's not subject to aging, not subject to illness, not, not subject to death. It's there, simply that we have to find it. Some people say you find it by relaxing, by doing nothing. The Buddha never said that. It's a path of action that we have to follow. And John Lee has a good analogy. He says it's like salt water. There is fresh water in salt water, but you have to distill it. It takes effort to get that salt out of the water so the fresh water can be seen for what it is. It's fresh. So we work at the path, and there's an effort that has to go into it. But it's because this is the kind of action that leads to a point where we don't need to do anything more for the sake of our happiness, because the happiness has been accomplished. Once we found that dimension, okay, then we can live in this world and not suffer from the world. We can't stop the fact that when people are born, there's going to be aging, there's going to be illness, there's going to be death. This is something that happens all around. Years back when they had the tsunami in Thailand, a TV commentator called up a Buddhist monk and asked him, why did these people die? The monk didn't realize he only had one minute to give an answer. The way it is on TV. What he should have said was, well, because they were born. Now, whether you die in a tsunami or die peacefully, or whatever the conditions, it's going to have to happen because you've taken birth. But when you, and why do you take birth? Because the mind is still dissatisfied when it dies. It's going to find a new place to go, try to find happiness. But once you find the ultimate happiness, there's no need to take birth again, no need to look for anything else. So that's where we're aimed as we practice, the actions that lead to the end of action. And that's something we can verify in our own hearts and minds. If we put the teachings to the test, and we put ourselves to the test as well. <laughs>